Okay, so I'm at a friend's residence and studio. When I came into the driveway, I first saw this and it really got my attention. This is what I like to paint. It's an old house with an old water tower in the back that's been converted into a living quarters. And um, I think I'll paint it. Okay, so at this point I want to sketch everything in with a pastel pencil. And I'll just find the general composition here. Map everything out. I don't want to set anything into stone at this point. And I can always erase by wiping out with a clean cloth and kind of push things back as I feel my way through it. I know I don't want that in the center. my angle here okay here I have it sketched out I think compositionally I'd like to make the house smaller and so I'm gonna wipe everything out I know I should be able to get back to where I left off here I'm gonna block in all the trees in the background and so I'll be using sap green for my base color with a lot of different colors mixed into it Generally, I like to mix all my colors, but in this case, I find sap green to get me there quickly. Otherwise, I'd like to use colors that are all in the rainbow. A little cad yellow in here. Put a little red into it. Nice compliment with that green. A little magenta down here. I'm going to block all that in. And so I think I'll just fill in the shape here. There might be a little ultramarine blue in this area. So you might say I'm mixing right on my canvas. So at this point I want to get everything covered. And I can see what I'm doing. There's nothing more intimidating than looking at a white canvas. There's a little alizarin crimson over here. Might lighten it up. A little cobalt or cerulean. This will be lighter. I can always do that. I like to paint darker first. And I can lighten everything up later. You can kind of see how everything's starting to shape out. Let's hit this edge right here with this vine growing. We'll establish that shape. And block it all in. be a shadow to a post right here. I may keep it or not, depending on what the light's going to do. And here's a shadow from the foreground that the house is casting. It's going to come out. Right about so. I'll block that in. A little detail. Whenever you see a lot of detail, you know, just block it in. Keep it simple. That's the main thing. Get this bush over here. And so the colors may not be exact. They will certainly change from here and there. I can always adjust that as I work it. Well, let's sit back and look at that. Well, blocking that water tower this color. It's kind of a muddied up color which will serve this composition. I'm going to have a little bit of red a little warmer side over here. And I'll certainly lighten that. I'm 
I'm kind of feeling out the colors as I'm going. Down here we're going to have a little bit more saturated color. Put a block here. Put a little more yellow. So I want this yellow to be different than this yellow. This is going to be a lot more saturated. So I'll scumble that in when I got to brush it. And I'm going to have kind of a muted kind of grayish color going back here in the shadow and these. Well, you can see I'm painting over the lines and that's okay because I kind of know where they're supposed to be. Uh, this is going to want to come over. That's going to be right here. So far it kind of looks like a snow scene. I've got all the darks in. I'm going to put the lights in. This will be the grass in the foreground. It's kind of an olive color. There's a lot of cad red mixed into sap green. Some cad yellow light. And up here... So I pretty much have everything brushed in at this point. This is what I see when I squint. And so I still don't have any details. Well, let's take a look at the overall picture. So to give myself an idea of how bright I can go, I'm going to take some pure yellow, put it right here. And so now I'll know not to make anything in here brighter than this. You can get a pretty crisp line with using a palette knife versus a brush. If you want to soften it, you can always go back with a brush and hit it. I'll bring this out a little bit more. Let's put in some railing. Okay, so now I'm back in my studio the next day, looking at this painting in a gold frame, which seems to be working pretty well. I kind of like that this corner is popping nicely and the rest is fading back. You can see that I've added some of the blue highlights from the blue sky that we we're having yesterday. And I try to repeat that throughout the composition. And I think overall I like it. Anyway, I think we'll call it done. Stay tuned for more.